All right, so first let's set up some accounts that we're gonna be putting our investments into. So I'm gonna to go to the tab to the right. I'm gonna right click on left. I'm gonna right click on it and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna pull that to the left. And then I'm gonna go into my chart of accounts, which is on in the accounting view under accounting. And then there's our chart of accounts. If you're under the business view, by the way, the chart of accounts are located under the bookkeeping and then manage and chart of accounts. So let's first just add the accounts that we're gonna be putting in place uh, for the investments. And then the investments, when we initially invest in like uh, stocks and bonds, we'll see it come through the checking account with the bank feeds and we'll have to record it then. So I'm gonna record it as an investment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like, I'm gonna try to make a parent investment account and then I'm gonna put sub accounts for the institutions that I'm investing in. This is one method that you could use. So I'm gonna say a new account and I'm gonna say it's an asset account and I'm gonna make it an other current asset account, other current asset. And so you could try to make it like if you're trying to link to your your financial institution, then you might be able, you might be able to make it like a bank type of account and link to the financial institution. Uh, you could try, you can, you know, think about setting that up because the, the uh, finances or stocks and bonds with some financial institutions may be able to, to give you bank feed data similar to what you have in the checking account. But what I'm going to do here is set it up as an other current asset and think about just making periodic uh, adjustments to it. So I'm going to hit the, I'm going to say other current asset. We're going to go then this is going to be, I'm going to say uh other current asset uh, i'm not too worried about the tax category here i'm just going to pick one so i picked investments other and then i'm going to call it investments so investments this is going to be what i'm going to call my parent account and then i'll put the other investments within it here's what it shows down here that's where it's located in the chart of accounts so i'm going to say okay so if i scroll down i should have an other current asset type of account of investments now within under investments i'm going to put a subcategory of the places i'm investing in which would be like a vanguard possibly or or a, a, your bank bank of america or i'm going to say or like a uh, an e-trade so i'm going to say new and i'm going to make it another asset account it's going to be an other current asset account but it's going to be under investments so it's going to be a, a subsidiary account of investments and i'm going to say that it's going to be i'm going to call one b of a i'm going to say we have investments in stocks and bonds with the institution of bank of america uh let's say and then i'm going to say save it so now when i start to populate this on the balance sheet i'll have a parent account of investments and then bank of america investments now i'm not thinking about checking account saving account here I'm thinking about investment accounts like stocks and bonds uh, with them that I would be tracking uh, in here. Now, note, you could make investments and break it out other ways. You could say, I'm going to break it out by mutual fund. You might have one mutual fund that basically covers everything, or you might have multiple, multiple mutual funds, for example. And so you could break it out by mutual fund. But if you're planning on having many mutual funds, that gets quite tedious, even that, right? So you might want to say, hey, look, I'm going to look at that detail of multiple mutual funds. When I go to my actual Bank of America uh, reports there, here, I just want a summary so I can see a, a snapshot of my balance sheet and record the uh, income periodically. Another way you might do it is you might say, I'm going to, I'm going to make subcategory groups based on the type of investment, like stocks and bonds, for example. But even that becomes difficult for small investors oftentimes because you're often investing in mutual funds that might have a mix between stocks and bonds. Another way you might do it on the personal side is to make sub accounts for short term and long term investments, whether or not the investments are under the umbrella of like an IRA or 401k or retirement plan or not. Because if they're under a retirement plan, those would be long term investments. So you might have a long-term investment by institution for those that are under a retirement plan and then short-term investments by institution for those that are not under the retirement plan and then the idea would be that any investment that goes into the investment account 
I would see because it would come out of the checking account and I can just record the other side to the investment. Any uh, decrease in the investment that I'm taking out that's going to the checking account, I would see as a deposit to the checking account and I can then record the other side to the investment account when it comes out. But we also have dividends and interest, which we might take out and put into the cash account, at which point we'll see them being drawn out into cash and we'll be able to record them as income when we receive them. Uh, or you might reinvest them into the investment account. In that case, we're gonna have to pick them up possibly periodically kind of like in the statement in order to pick up the investments uh, to show that increase. And we have this change of the investments, meaning they could go up or down in market value over time. So, so then we have to think about, am, am I gonna record my investments at real time, even though I have not yet sold them? So I'll talk more about that in a second. Let's add one more account under here. I'm gonna say new, and I'm gonna make this an asset account too. It's gonna to be an uh, an investment account. And I'm just gonna call this Primerica, Primerica. That's gonna be another financial institution we're, uh, we're imagining we're investing uh, stocks and bonds under. Okay, so those are the, the general concepts.